quite, quite the guy. It's quite a guy, yes. Uh, what can I tell you about Thomas Leroy except that he is uh, very egoistic, you know, egocentric. He's, uh, he's a true artist. He's, um, I guess he's a pretty lonely person, you know, he doesn't have kids, he doesn't have a wife, he doesn't have anybody in his life really, you know, it's just like you have all those dancers that he, he has power upon, but I'm not sure it really can fulfill his life. And like m most of the people I met that are in this position, you know, they have a tendency to be rough with the others because they, they tend to think that their art form is the most important thing in the world, you know. And it is for them because that's that's all they have, you know. I guess in that sense, the character can be a little touching. And what's his? Uh, what's he trying to get out of Nina? Well, the best that she can give, really, you know, uh, the best interpretation. And I think he's right in a way. I think the only problem is that he didn't realize how fragile she was. Um, this film, Darren Aronofsky. What made you want to be a part of this movie? Well, Darren Aronofsky, first of all, and then Natalie. Uh, I've seen everything that Darren did since the beginning, and from Pi, I have to say that I, I, I mean, the first time I saw Pi, I don't know why I felt close to, uh, to what he was doing, you know. I thought there was something very European about it, very uh, grainy, edgy, you know. I don't know, there was a quality to it that, I, that really struck me. So I've been following what he was doing, you know, and so obviously when he called me and, you know, told me about the project, and on top of all with Natalie, I said yes. And how is he different or unique um, from other directors that you've worked with in the past? Well, I don't know, but I think he's, he's, uh, he's, he's very daring once again. You know, he's really trying to, uh, to, um, to dig, you know, in the contradictions, you know, the perversions, you know, it's never white or black. <laughs> No, but that's exactly what it's about, really. It's about, you know, how to, to get from one extreme to the other. It's in, you have to go through the, the whole shades of gray eventually. And, and um, there's no heroes in this movie, you know. There's no hero. It's like everybody's, like, in trouble, you know. Mila is not totally, you know, the Mila's character is not totally clean. This one has a lot of problem with her mother, blah, 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 you know. Uh, my character definitely has a problem with power, <laughs> obviously. So um, the fact that he... You know, he likes to play with uh, all those uh, contradictions. Uh, really attracted me too. I'd say the biggest character that has the most problems is is Mina. Talk about working with um, with Natalie. Well, Natalie, uh, when I got on set, she, I, I was impressed because she. Uh, I, I didn't realize before I got there, because before I got to New York, you know how prepared she was. And the first time I saw her dancing, well, I saw a dancer more than an actress who trained to dance. You see. And uh, I have to say that really put pressure on me. I thought, okay, well, if, she, if she's there, we, you're going to have to uh, stay awake. <laughs> have you um, ever gone through any kind of dance training for yeah? For quite a long time, actually. Yeah. I danced for seven years, six, uh -huh. six, seven years when I was younger, ballet every day. Uh, but not to be a professional dancer, but I, I, I was sure that, you know, it was important for, that for an actor to, uh, to be conscious, you know, of movements and, and uh, body placement and all these things. And I was right. Thank you. Thanks. That's all I have. Bernard, you want these?